and what a great day to sell something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. And this is Tech Guy from The Hive. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Floss Tube. Tube. We're so excited to be back with you this week. I feel like it wasn't that long ago since we filmed, but that's because... It uh, wasn't. I know, it wasn't. It wasn't it's because we were a little late last week, so... Schedule... Life happens. Yes. So. Uh, we had a big storm roll in today, so our little guy's had a migraine actually today too, but he's asleep, so we're going to take this opportunity to film a floss tube. Yes. So, common threaded stitcher. Let's start. That's a thing. I know. It's been so fun. So, prompts that we've had this week. Uh, today was, we are filming this a day earlier than we yeah. typically do. So, today, uh, Saturday, it was guilty pleasure. Right. Um, I posted a Celine Dion al album. I think that was a cop out. <laughs> so, like, I put myself way out there. Yeah. In uh, the guilty pleasure world. You made everybody really, really hungry. Yeah, because I'm hungry all the time. So, if some of y'all don't know this, he's looking at his phone right now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Today is the guilty pleasure. Yesterday was favorite floss tube, which that was interesting to see. Yes, that brought up some debate. Uh, fin favorite finish, oldest stitching tool, which... Kia thought I was the oldest stitching tool. That's true. And uh, Vacation Spot and then Local Needleworks Shop was on the 11th. So, yeah, I imagine. It, yeah. yeah, so we talked about that last yep. loss too. So, uh, today was Guilty Pleasure. Uh, if you don't know this, Tech Guy in his spare time, if he has any, uh, he loves to smoke meat. He has a big smoker in our backyard and he loves, loves, loves to smoke meat. What's your favorite meat to smoke? So if I'm on a short time crunch, uh, I smoke bratwurst and I smoke wings. And drumsticks. Drumsticks. Drumsticks because, you know, we're fancy here. Um, if I have time, uh, I like to do pulled pork. Uh, good old pork loin, pork, pork we shoulder. Done pork in a while. Uh, but that's usually like a six to seven hour smoke. And the most interesting thing I've smoked was a turkey, and I will be doing that again for Thanksgiving. Yeah, he did our Thanksgiving turkey last year, and it turned out really, really good. Yep. Um, let's see. We did have the favorite floss tube. So there was a lot of debate over that, and everybody was like, no, why would you make us choose? Right. Or some other people were like, I'm not doing this, but here's a picture of one of my finishes. I like that too. So. Yeah, yeah, that was really fun. Um, so I created that prompt for yesterday as one for newer channels and really any channel to have a time for shameless plug. Like, hey, I have a floss tube and I think I'm interesting enough maybe that you might want to watch me. And so we did have some people post their floss tubes, which is great. That's great. But it was honestly like more about being able to encourage floss tubers so a lot of people don't know like behind the scenes stuff really the process i don't know a lot of the process that happens after i f sit in front of you so like after this point i could not get to youtube and so um and so it kind of by posting your own floss tube it gives people a chance to encourage you um, but it also gives those who maybe are toying around with the idea of starting a floss tube an outlet to be like, hey, I know I can go ask X, Y, Z, um, how, and, and ask kind of for mentorship. So that was kind of my thought process behind it. I ended up posting just a picture of the YouTube logo and talked about why I posted the prompt and what this community does. And it is vital that floss tube, um, it's, Rose. I mean, yes, it's, not, it's, not, it's just so fun and it's such an experience that's like no other and um, the thing is it's it's a know. huge real estate so no one has a corner of YouTube right like there's you can go on you know floss tube or quilting or whatever mm -hmm. and it's supposed to be an environment that you can just put yourself out there and mm -hmm. I think I saw a prompt uh, yesterday I'm sorry that I, I didn't write down or jot down who it was um, they had like nine different squares and then they put themselves like a selfie and I was like coming soon. Like that is oh, what I wanted fun. to see. Yes. And, like I want to encourage yeah. people. Um, someone I've been watching recently that I think maybe she's only on her fourth floss tube maybe. She's doing one a week. Um, I, it's Carla being crafty. And uh, her birthday was this last week. And so Happy she... Happy birthday. Yes. And so uh, I believe she lives in Southern California maybe. Um, and so she gets to, like, she lives by herself. And so this is just a time that she gets to kind of put herself out there and talk about her stitching. And, 
you know, create this community online. And I think that's what my point, I wasn't trying to be mean or anything like that and like make, pick your favorite floss tube and it better be us. It's not that, like, aha, no, gotcha. It's it was not that at all. It was definitely more to encourage each other uh, because sometimes, very rarely, it's a hard job. The it's grind. a really difficult job. Um, as you've seen in the last couple of weeks, it's not all been uphill. Um, roses, and, but roses and butterflies? Yes, and like daisies. there are some times. And so just to have people to reach out and talk to and be like, wow, you know, this is going on or this is going on. And just to kind of have um, some contacts. And so that was what yesterday was about. And I, I really personally enjoyed all of that. Yeah, and so. you know, I, I, I assume this is understood uh, after that prompt, but like, if y'all want to reach out to us through our email, it's going to be in our description box below. Yeah. Um, we're pretty transparent. We're an open book. You can ask anybody that uh, we've mentioned on this channel, uh, close friends of ours, a launch team. Like we are an open book. Yeah. And we don't have like secrets. Yeah. Right. And um, you know, we we're kind of learning this together. We may be we're not that far off. Yeah. <laughs> we've only and we're had not this for three experts years. What, yeah, by any means. I mean, yeah, we have 21,000 followers now. Um, and we've gotten those through our quilting channel and some towards the end here through floss tube. And we're grateful for all 21,000. We've worked so incredibly hard for those subscribers and we're very proud of that. But that does not mean that we are experts by any means. Literally today I had to phone a friend to ask how to do something specific with my thread and cross stitching. Like I'm not an expert. I just like to do this and I like to have this time. <laughs> and so with all that being said, like floss tube can literally be started by anyone on the internet. And it's so fun. And so we kind of toyed around with the idea at StitchCon next year um, to kind of have just a little like, hey, we're going to be in the lobby of uh, the conference room or uh, what, the conference hotel. We're going to be in the lobby maybe Wednesday night. So the night before StitchCon officially happens, right. lots of people are traveling in. And so we thought, you know, Tech Guy can give some pointers on like, hey, this is how you look at your analytics. This is how you uh, see your view duration. So how long are people watching your videos? Kind of like those sorts of things. And just kind of like open it up to if you're if you're coming to StitchCon and you're a floss tuber, we're not experts, but we've been around long enough that we can kind of give you some tips and tricks. So. Yeah, or before you know that happens oh like if, you guys yeah, can email us yeah, at any and, time and it's, and it's yeah. fantastic and, it's and that was that was a really big rabbit hole to go down to just say we are not experts and we do not want to portray yeah. that we are experts mm -hmm. but we want to encourage those who have floss tubes or who youtube channels if you have another craft that you are super passionate about like let's talk about it let's get a conversation going about how you can start a youtube channel and what that means for you in this community absolutely and in this the whole community is been uplifting and it's been yeah. encouraging and um you know i'm a little biased because i'm part of it so i think this is one of the better communities and best communities that are out there yeah um but yeah just reach out and you know there's someone that you uh watch a certain uh floss tube um and i bet you like 99.9999 percent certain that they're going to come back and uh reply to your email and, yeah. and help you through the process just to ask for mentorship yeah. just say hey i'm, yeah. I'm kind of throwing it out there what do you think yeah. That's what we're here for. Yeah. And one of the biggest things I think there is to remember is that you do not have to have sponsors on YouTube. You do not have to have big companies back behind you or anything like this. Like you can do this. Like we are just a homeschool family doing this from the comfort of our home. Our couch. Our couch. One of, one of our couches. Yeah. Um, and so like just encourage each other it's yeah. a great community to be a part of yep. so anyway that was a long rabbit hole to say that we are just really enjoying common threaded stitcher yes okay do you want to kind of talk about 24 hours you know there's things in your life <laughs> that you take a poke at and a stab at and uh things just don't work out as planned we did so well the first 24 hours that we did so we joined in at take three Yes. And we did great. We did fantastic. And it yes. was amazing. And it's like the... So productive. It was awesome. Take four for me was terrible. I only got like, what did I say? Four hours of stitching in. 
Yeah, uh, we I got a it. lot more unstitching in than I did stitching. I think we dubbed it as 4.1. Well, no, I was talking about my oh, take four. Oh, your, your take four. Yes. Yeah, uh, okay, and then we announced on floss tube 4.1. That we were doing 4.1, and how did that go for us? Seven hours in. We got seven and, hours uh, in. I got easily distracted, and I'm not going down that rabbit hole. Um, all, all for nothing. So, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's just. We're gonna take another stab, but I think you said it best last week. We it snuck up on us, and I was I was not helping to prepare with like certain projects, things like that. I didn't even touch another project. I was still on one. Yeah. So I was gonna break it up to seven to eight hours. Yeah. And I just didn't get it done. Yeah. So, we'll okay, talk so about let's that talk later. about whips. Why don't you talk about what you worked on this yep. week, and then we'll go from there. So I am on Al Forest, Emerald City. I'm just trying to truck and truck along. So that's where I'm at. Oh, I'm waiting for it. There, there we go. go. So I'm at uh, the North Witch or Glenda Goodwitch. Um, I've got her hat to finish up, and then I'm going right to another cornstalk and then scarecrow. Um, and then I'm moving up to the second piece. So right now yeah. I'm on the second piece of I think the four or five they have out. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, on this fabric doing chalk it was hard what do you mean chalk the the the, the floss that i'm using overnight is called, floss overnight is floss called, is chalk. called chalk okay so yeah so you can't actually really see, see his stitches for her so we might need to if you have suggestions that would make these white stitches pop more on, on top of this fabric yes that would we would, be we would really welcome that because he put a lot of detail work into that dress and you can't really see it all that well. There's some so. highlights I have to put in there. I think some steel gray yeah. or some silver. Ooh, wait, look at that tin man needle miner. Who made you that? Oh, you can't even see it. You, oh. can't, you can't even see it. Right there. Wait. There we there go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Thanks, tin Cameron. Man. <laughs> um, if you follow my Instagram, uh, tech guy in the hive, all underscore in between the spaces, you have a great, uh, I, I took a great photo of the Tin Man uh, Needle Minder. Let me see that yellow brick road. Is that one color of yellow? Yep. That variegation, you guys, that is absolutely Our neighbors amazing. are amazing. Our neighbors are home. Sorry, guys. He's home a little early. Um, the variegation in this yellow brick road is beautiful. It pops. Love it. That might it be my favorite Golden part. Golden Star is what it's called. I don't know who it is. So, um, of course... I'm trying to dub this project as your car um, project. my car project, yeah. um, but this is where I'm at with Silver Creek's Christmas list. Yeah. Um, I finished, well, almost finished, Christmas Blessing. No, there's no G right now. So I'll blessing. Be it's Blessing, Christmas Blessing. Um, so I'll finish that. If I, can, I think I'm getting down to like every two days I can get a row of lettering yeah. done. Um, yeah. And I'm just trying to truck along and figure that out i did not touch we did have some questions before you move on we did have some questions about what fabric he's using and we have the official answers we think so um the emerald city which is the wizard of oz this is a picture this plus and it it no summer is this picture this plus hang on hold, hold on. please hold please in the words of greats um you know, we have this cool friend that works at Keepsakes, and I can text her, and she can tell me exactly what it is. So, let's see. This is, um... Maybe? Nope. This one's called Summer Sky. This is by Wichelt. Wichelt. You're right. This is Wichelt. This is Wichelt, but, um, Summer Sky. And then the other one the Christmas list it this is picture this plus and it is called we believe it's called bramble b-r-a-m-b-l-e and it's super soft like yeah, I could it is very very soft make a yeah. pillow out of it they're both Ada's so um I'll eventually switch to linen soon um yeah. but I'm just not there yet so uh but yeah I've got a conversion on Emerald City and then I'm doing called for DMC on Silver Creek's Christmas list. And yeah, that's where I'm at. So yeah. it's really encouraging to see other people working on Emerald City too. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Yeah, super awesome. fun. 
Okay, um, I have nine whips to show you. I have zero finishes. You don't have any finishes, right? I wish. Okay, we're going to take a few minutes and show you whips. So if you will grab my whip binder right there. The oh, binder. binder. Mm -hmm. If I listen. Yep, and then, um, so you're going to be in charge of this, and we're going to start right there at the beginning. Let me find it. Yes, okay. So just pull out the pattern picture. So my first one, I told y'all last week, in my first try at, at um, 24 hours when I was doing it by myself, I had decided that I needed to change a lot of my mania starts. So I needed to shake things up, change either the fabric they were on or the threads I was using, something. Right. And so this first one is Stitching Time by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I changed it to this awesome color and cotton uh, fabric called Lemonade. And so I'm just doing two over two on that. And it's working really, really well. I have to say I'm very slow at linen stitching, but um, it's okay, we're getting there. So I worked on that a little bit this week. And well, in our take of 24 hours. All right, and then we have, I'm trying to get through my bags real quick to pull out the right one. Nope, that's not it. Here it is. All right, and then the next one I worked on is also by Country Cottage Needleworks. I restarted this. This is Glitter House number one. I still need to add the rest of these to my stash. And so, um, here we go. That is that whip. I got that top border done, so I was really happy about that. Like, pretty pleased with that. Boom. Yeah. Our next right. one, Snowflake Serenade. Snowflake Serenade. Serenade. Here we go. All my little tags are falling off my project bag, so I don't know which is which. Okay, Snowflake Serenade. I did go ahead and restart this guy. It goes like this. So I restarted this, and um, I'm liking this much better with the smaller thread count. I really like it I thought lot. she was outside her mind. And I'm not going to lie, like... I'm not gonna lie. I started railroad stitching. I had not done that before. I'd only really done it a little bit, like not very much at all. And especially with white stitches, I would 100% suggest railroading. It made all the difference. Like my, I'm not, I mean, toot toot, my white stitches look super good on that Snowflake Zaranade. And it's because I railroad every single time. And my favorite person in the whole world right now taught me how to do that. So comment below if there's a certain technique that you're using when you're stitching. I'm going traditional like X's and um, that's what I'm doing. And I mean, I she thinks I'm crazy when I said I have a certain way of like pulling and tugging and moving things around. And she's like, I'm just doing railroading. I'm like, what's that? So yeah. she spent like a five minute tutorial on what that is. So. Yeah. So this next one I got super frustrated with in this 24 hours. Jardine. You guys, it took me an hour to get those green leaves and this little bit of grass done. Like the tree trunk was done. So this is what I'm working on. And when I posted this on Instagram, so many people said they've had this pattern for a while. Y'all pull it out. It's so cute. This is Jardin Purvey. So Day. this is Jardin Purvey and it is on Vintage Country Mocha. It took me an hour to get those leaves and grass done. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> So frustrating. Uh, I think the it's because I was doing them and then I messed up and had to rip them out again. So yeah. I was I was a little frustrated with that, but I got it done. All right, then we have the next one is Country Cottage Needleworks. This is on Wichelt Graceful Gray 14 count, and goes like this. This is my May Cottage. Dang that that pink pops out. I know, right? It's very very bright, and so I like it um, a lot. yeah, I might take this with me this week. Um, so I really, really liked that one. All right, my next one is Patriotic, Patriotic Pin, Pin, Pin Keeps. Keeps. And this is by Scissor Tail Designs. And I am just doing this. I restarted this completely. Well, Look nice. how cute. That looks real nice. Yeah, so this is um, the Pin Keeps. And I just bought, I don't think you can see him over there behind his head. I have the um, Halloween whimsies, and then I also have the Easter whimsies by Scissor Tail. Cool. And so um, I got the border all done on one of those. And that's, again, just on 14 count white with chelt. So I got a good start on those. Now I spent an hour on each of these projects. Yes. All right, the next one. Whoops. Oopsie. I'm dropping everything over here. The next one. <sighs> 
I love this one though. I do love it. So my house, uh, our house, and I've said this before, when we do Christmas decorating, we have a Christmas tree in every single room. Last year we had nine Christmas trees in our house. I love Christmas and I love decorating for Christmas and we do a very special thing with our boys um, where when they go to sleep at night it is decorated for fall when they wake up in the morning it is decorated for Christmas yep. and we stay up all night long it's a long process all night long with love and I love doing it yes and when they wake up in the morning we have it's worth it a, we call it a mister breakfast yes um, and so we have Mr. Breakfast and it's like Wonderland for them. And I love seeing their faces. Love it. Yes. And so, um, all that to say, our, our kitchen is decorated in all gingerbread. So gingerbread men, gingerbread girls, gingerbread cookies, gingerbread candy trees. We have like these three little trees that go on our island that I hang all these little candies off of. Yep. And it's just so much fun. And so I started this year, I started the Gingerbread Street by Sue Hillis Designs. And it goes like this. I worked on that for an hour. Restarted this from Mania. So I had actually gotten a lot more done during Mania. But um, I didn't like the thickness of my stitches because I was using too many threads. And right. so I restarted that. But, oh, I just love Sue Hillis so much. She's such a great designer. Yes. All right. And then next. Oh, okay. So that was, those were the seven projects I worked on during Mania. Or not but during Mania. During 24 hours, take 4.1. Yes. These other ones, I uh, just kind of have worked on since then. So this one is Brunch at Buttonwood Farm by Vintage, Vintage Needleworks. Needle, Needle Arts, sorry. And so I, um had about that much right here done and so I finished that whole top border there and this is just on a natural 14 count Ada I don't remember I probably bought it I don't know where I bought it actually it was just sitting in my stash so I grabbed it for that mm -hmm. and then this other one I started working on today and we're gonna have a little discussion about so this is a kit that I was given um, and it has everything in its little tin we talked about this and then all of the R-Fill floss came, came in the tin. And then there uh, is this little piece of cloth that the needle goes on. Correct. And then I was given the, this, this was a whole kit. So I was given the pattern and this uh, vintage cloth by Lori Holt from BMI Bonnet. It is 10 count even weave and um, it is by Zweigart. It's in the color burlap. Yes. And we talked about this. I mean, I showed you guys all of this when I was starting Mania. So here's how far I have gotten. It goes like this. Okay, so here's how far I've gotten. And this is a, a stitcher hood, Quaker pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And I was working on this the majority of today, just kind of on and off as I had time to stitch today. And I like this fabric. I think you're going to love this fabric. Yes. Um, I think I'm going to restart this project on a different fabric for a couple of different reasons. But I just, as I was stitching it today, I was like, I think I want this on something different. So while it looks phenomenal, um, Tech Guy's going to rip out those stitches and use this piece of cloth for something else. So, um, but that was a kit and I wanted to stitch it as the kit came. Yep. And, um, and so, but I think, I think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna be brave and change. But we it. we talked about it, and it's, it's one yeah. of those things that you know sometimes that if you don't like something on a certain material, it makes a big difference. If you yeah, it does. To, yeah. Can you stitch it? So that is a total out of nine mania starts that I have worked on. I have restarted uh, eight of them. And your technique has changed. I have restarted eight projects of my mania. That's insane to me. Yeah. So, so those are all our whips. Yes. Yeah. Um, next thing. Okay, something I forgot to talk about last week is I told you all we went to dinner with um, Pam and Stephanie from Just Keep Stitching, and uh, I forgot to tell you they loved their gifts. They yeah. absolutely loved their um, sew together bag. So that's the accordion bag that I showed you guys in a couple of floss tubes ago. They loved it, and um, they showed them on their channel, and we got a few comments. Uh, they got a few comments, not we. They got a few comments. Um, that pattern is a quilting 
it's a it's a bag pattern mm -hmm. that you use some quilting techniques in and I've had that pattern it came out in 2016 and I've probably had it since 2017 I bought it at my local quilt shop right. even bought the fabric and the zippers everything to do it and it sat on my shelf for a really long time because I was terrified well then I got new fabric that I really wanted to use for it from um, Bonnie and Camille and which is one of my favorite fabric designers and um, I found that Mr. Domestic had a phenomenal tutorial on that and on his YouTube channel that he got permission from So Demented, who makes the bag pattern. Right. Uh, he got permission to do some measurement. Uh, he, he omitted some measurements, all the measurements it's actually. Like the framework. Yes. So basically just the step-by-step -step process of how to put the things together after you've measured, after you've done all that you need to do, cutting instructions and all of that, he picks it up from how to actually assemble the bag. And so I don't want there to be any confusion. That is not my pattern. I never said it was my pattern and I don't think Stephanie and Pam ever said it that it was my pattern. It was just something that I enjoyed making for them and um, I think it was very well received from a lot yeah, of people. Absolutely. So I love that bag. It is, we nicknamed it the Mary Poppins bag because you can just keep filling it and keep filling it and it's awesome. So I wanted to clear that up, but also tell you that Pam and Stephanie loved their bags. I thought Pam was going to cry. It was so, so sweet. It was awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, mail call. We only have one thing in mail call this week, and um, which is totally fine. This is the Riley Blake Designs Table Runner of the Month Club. We were getting this every single month, and it's really fun. It comes with everything that you need to make a table runner, um, except for the backing of the table runner, which is totally fine. This one is 21 by 51 inches. Wow. And it is called Apple Spice. And so these are perfectly like little, these are awesome, They're awesome good boxes. boxes. Yes. And it comes with all the fabric and then um, we'll see if that will focus there. And that's what it looks like. It's got apples all the way down the side of it. And I love it so much. So we got that in. Unfortunately though, this is our last month getting this. Yes. Um, which is, which is very big, unfortunate, because we've had, we've gotten them from the beginning. And yes. so unfortunately this is our last one, but I'm excited. I think it, I think it is a great pattern. Yes. So, uh, lastly, unless, do you have anything else? I don't. Okay. So lastly, we talked about this, uh, in our last floss yes. tube, but we are doing a, um, stitch along announcing a new stitch along that is the snow village if you have not yet been to country cottage needleworks website hop over there we'll put a link down below you can hop over there and look at their new releases coming out starting september and it is the snow village right yes and so we decided i told you all in our last floss tube how much christmas villages are near and dear to my heart and so we just wanted to remind you that if you want to be a part of that stitch along with us we are so excited about it um i'm so excited to start stitching them right. actually and uh so you can we'll leave some information down below you can call lenny or stephanie or barbara at keepsakes and they will get you set up they will pull all your flosses like hand they put a lot of love into hand picking yes, everything I, um, I know stephanie's putting in an order soon for all the cloth and everything so that we have all of that ready to go for when they release they will also set you up with an auto ship so your first time they're going to ship you everything the pattern uh, the initial pattern the cloth all the called for floss and um so they're going to do all of that for you in september when the first one releases and then every month after that they will uh automatically charge your card for just the pattern price and uh send that to you on an auto ship yeah it's gonna be awesome i'm and so excited i know a lot of we posted this like the day of or the day after no it was the day of the day it was of. like within an hour of yeah. her posting that. it was a, it was the day of and she was like we're gonna do this i'm like oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you know, just kind of just getting in that everyone like sharing the like just sharing this yeah. is where we want to do. Yeah. So. And if you buy it from somewhere else, don't feel like you can't stitch along with us. That's Correct. totally fine. Come on. We're just uh, giving you an option at, at Keepsakes to purchase it if you don't have somewhere yeah. else to purchase Absolutely. it from. So we are using the hashtag Snow Village or I'm sorry, 
Hashtag Kia B Snow Village S A L Sal Stitch Along. We'll put it in the title. And so, yeah, we're so excited. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait yes. to get that started. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us in the hive today. We've had so much fun with this floss tube. We are going to be out of town this week uh, for the last part of the week, and so we'll get a lot of good stitching done while we're gone. Hope so. Hopefully, we're going Hopefully. to, yeah, we're going to a wine festival, and so we're really excited about that. So, thank you so much for joining us in the hive today, and y'all have a great week. Bye.